So let's take a few minutes to talk about some of the commands that you can use in git bash. So even though this is a Windows machine and you would expect to use Windows DOS commands, the bash is actually from Linux. So running within git bash, within this bash shell, you'll need to use Linux commands. And the first one we'll talk about is pwd, print working directory. And that just shows us where we're at. Right now I'm on my Z drive. If you're using uh, the MIS lab or the C231 labs, you're probably in your H drive. If you're doing this from your home computer, you're probably in a different path, probably C, users, and then whatever your username is. If I'm looking at this in the Windows Explorer, I would be here on my Z drive. On my Z drive, I can see I've got two files in there. So from a bash shell, if I wanted to see all of the files, I could type ls, which is list, and then it shows me the two files. If I might have some hidden files, I can type ls-a, and that shows me all of them, even the hidden files. I want to switch over to my C drive. I like to do my work from the desktop, uh, so that's where I want my repositories and those kinds of things. So the first thing I want to do is change directory, cd, space forward slash c, and this change will change me from the Z drive to the C drive. And I can see I'm on the C drive. If I were to list the files on the C drive, I can see there's a lot of uh, folders here. It's the same thing as coming up to Explore and clicking on the C drive. I want to switch into the Users folder. So down here I will CD into Users. Now the beauty of uh, the Linux commands, or the Linux bash shell, you can press Tab and it will fill it out for you. So within Users I want to go into the Colbert folder so I can CD space COL just a little bit of the directory and then hit tab and it'll automatically fill. And then within the Colbert folder I want to get into the desktop. I want to do the do my work on the desktop here so I can CD to the desktop. And now I can see where I'm at. I list the files, I just see that there's a desktop INI which I can't see. Now there's a lot of stuff going on here. If I want to clear out this bash screen and so it's it's just uh, minimized, there's, or there's, there's less stuff in it, I can type clear and it just cleans it up for me. I want to make a directory on the on the desktop so I could right click select new folder and name it Mike one way to do it now if I list within the the desktop I can see the Mike folder the other way I can do it is from the bash shell I can mkdir make directory space and the name of the directory and now I can see that it showed up if I want to remove a directory, it's rm, remove, space, and the name of the directory. Uh, yes, but it doesn't like to delete an entire directory, so I need to rm-r, remove it recursively, and the name of the directory. And now you can see that it's gone. If it were just an individual file up here, it will remove the file. But if you're doing a directory, you need to use dash R to remove it recursively. Once I'm at the desktop, I can CD into the homework folder. I can see there's nothing in there. If I wanted to go up a level, the command is CD space dot dot. Dot dot means go up one level. And now you can see I'm back at the desktop.
So these are the commands that you can use in the Linux Bash Shell. There's a lot more, but these are the ones that you'll probably use the most frequently.